These are purple tomatoes. Mm. Yeah. Yay. The genetically modified produce was developed by a team of scientists. But guess what? It got USDA approval, mm. clearing the way to be sold at grocery stores. So this tomato, it's not just interesting, right? The scientists who made it say it has more antioxidants and a longer shelf life than the garden variety red tomato. Mm. The next step is to get the thumbs up from the FDA, then it's on store shelves. I'm here to defend genetically modified okay, food. Okay, let's hear the yes. argument. Because yeah. so much of it, so much of our food has been modified now um, by scientists and crossbreeding, mm -hmm. and it has helped lower food insecurity in the world. Mm -hmm. And like drought resistance. Right, exactly. And factors Fewer like people that. go hungry because of genetically modified food. But what food. about the cells not necessarily being able to always recognize this genetically modified food? I don't food. think there's any proof of that, scientifically speaking. I mean, I don't, I don't, don't speak to my opinion on this, but there yeah. aren't widespread studies that say that genetically modified food is bad for you. Hmm. Interesting debate. Well, it Meanwhile, will continue I'm just after the show. <laughs> Guys, while you have that debate, I'm just wondering, does it taste like ube? Uh, yeah, no, it just, <laughs> it looks interesting. It looks, it yeah. looks like uh, it delicious. could have a label that says ube flavored tomatoes. Yes. Yeah. And I do They're love pretty. me some ube. Yeah, I know you do. It's a pretty, pretty. looking bag. Yeah. <laughs> okay.